Eric, we're going to take you from movies to fashion and another big name, Versace. We go now to London. Our own Lindsay Janice is standing by. She has a story about the intersection of haute couture and art. Lindsay. Mm -hmm. That's right, Deidre. As you know, these are tough times for all businesses, including uh, the fashion and arts markets. And today, we're going to get another idea of just how badly this recession is affecting the wealthiest of buyers. In just a few moments at 10 a.m. local time here in London, we've got a special auction happening at Sotheby's. The Italian designer Gianni Versace was renowned for his extravagant and sometimes outrageous style. His home at Villa Fontanelli on the shores of Lake Como in Italy was a temple to his love of neoclassical ornament. The rooms were crammed full of 18th and 19th century paintings, sculpture and furniture arranged in theatrical displays. Sotheby's has recreated them in its London sale room. It's a world which is uh, dominated by gods and goddesses, by mythological figures everywhere on the paintings, on the, on the plates where you ate. So he really recreated his own uh, Arcadia. There are over 500 lots, with estimates ranging from around 100 up to a quarter of a million dollars. The top lot is this pair of Napoleonic bookcases. But unlike the treasures from Yves Saint Laurent a month ago, some of the items here are no better than decorative knickknacks with valuations to match. The auctioneers hope that Versace's reputation will help to beat the $2.8 million estimate. Deidre and Eric, uh, this auction starts any minute, and then there's a second session at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so we'll let you know how uh, Versace's belongings did at auction. Back to you.